Now it's time for our weekly feature, The Road to Cheltenham, with Pricewise Tom Siegel. Tom, let's start with Rule the World, who was an impressive winner of the Slaney Hurdle on Sunday at Nace. What would you make of his chances in the Neptune? Uh, yeah, I thought he was quite impressive. I don't think I thought the race sort of fell apart a, a bit with Champagne Fever being a bit disappointing. But you can't take anything away from Rule the World. He's what three from four now. Uh, yeah, he's a type of horse. Mouse Morris's horses tend to be better on better ground. I know that's a generalisation, but I think he'll be better at Cheltenham. He has a very good record at Cheltenham, the trainer, uh, with a few runs he runs there. It'll be interesting to see which way he goes. If he goes for the Neptune, yeah, he's got to be he's got to be right up there at the top of the list now after that performance. And there's the Iowa Bala as well for him. So, uh, yeah, he was impressive, and uh, I think better ground might suit him again. And rule the world is drawing away and racing uphill towards the finish, and uh, quite a good performance from Rule the World. Travelled on the heels of the leaders very strongly, picked it up early in the straight, and has won by a good 10 length. And Swimmore was desperately unlucky in the future champions finale when falling at the last. Are him and Ruakana serious contenders for the triumph hurdle? Uh, definitely Swinmore has got to be on the shortlist, hasn't he? Because uh, because uh, he went through the race like a really good horse, didn't he? Slightly concerned that I don't really like horses having hard falls like that. I'd like to see him again before I, before I could recommend him for the triumph. But uh, there aren't that many good juveniles around. Paul Nichols has got a couple, hasn't he, those French horses. But they tend to be sort of strong staying types that get better as uh, get better in, in, in the years, as the years go on. So I'd be surprised if one of them won it. Far West's obviously got the the form at the, at the moment. I think there might be something else floating around that will either come out of the woodwork or an Irish horse uh, like the, the Willie Mullins horse, Blood Cotill. Uh, those sort of horses would be more on my radar than than uh, Swinney Moore at the moment, just simply because he had a hard fall. I'll have to see him again before having any uh, any real feels about him. Ruakana uh, did all that was asked. I'd be surprised if he was good enough to win a triumph hurdle myself. Melodic Rendezvous is a general 14 to 1 chance for the Supreme. What did you make of his performance in the Tollworth Hurdle? Once again, similar to Rule the World, he did absolutely nothing right. I personally don't think the form was very good. I don't think, uh, bar a couple, I can't think of the too many English novices I've seen this season that have really sort of caught my imagination. Uh, you know, the likes of Jeski in Ireland and those sort of ones. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more, uh, I think the form might be better in Ireland at the moment, but uh, he, and once again, he did nothing wrong, did he? He, you know, he, whether he likes soft ground, whether he'll be better on better ground, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a possibility, but he does seem to like that soft ground. He went very well in Punchstown in terrible ground last year at the, in, a, in a bumper. But, uh, yeah, he's, look, he's a lovely horse, improving, uh, still probably going to get better. I'd be surprised if he won the, the Supreme, if I'm honest. And did anything else catch your eye at the weekend with Cheltenham in mind? Uh, not really. I mean, there's, there's obviously a, f a few handicappers floating around. Obviously, the Welsh National was the key race. A couple of horses, uh, big fella thanks also winning at, at uh, Wincanton. But in terms of Cheltenham, not really. I didn't see. I think it was you know it was we were really it was really a handicappers week this week. Bar the ones you've mentioned, nothing really stands out today.